I'm Miranda, and if you missed the last few videos, I'm currently in Greece. First, we visited the islands of Mykonos and Santorini, and now we're in Athens. Yesterday, we visited many historical landmarks around Greece, so today we will be going on our own DIY food tour, as well as exploring a few different neighborhoods here in Athens. Good morning, adventurers. Today, we are going to continue exploring Athens, and our first stop of the day is this Greek delight place. Um, they're kind of similar to American donuts from what I've read. Uh, the one I got is covered with honey and cinnamon. Mm. So good. They're soft and chewy on the inside and perfectly crispy on the outside. So, so good. Strawberry chocolate, here we go. It's basically like a donut ball, but like really crunchy and outside. Look at the bottom of this. That is all honey. Our second stop is right outside of the Central Market. We're here at Mocha, which they have traditional Greek coffee where they heat their coffee out of sand. And look at what it comes in. They also gave us, um, I guess it's Greek delight, similar to Turkish delight. That's some good coffee right there. It's very earthy, so it tastes really good. Now we're going right behind us to the Central Food Market. What do you think? So the fish market felt very much like a Filipino fish market where everyone's yelling at you. It's very, very crazy and hectic. Uh, it didn't seem that busy today, but it can be. I can see it being a lot busier. But overall, it was a cool experience to walk right through. It felt very, very, very similar to how other markets are. But I don't know. It kind of felt like home for a little bit. <laughs> I also think that might be where a lot of the amazing souvlaki places. I've had a lot of souvlaki in the past couple days. And they're right, it is absolutely the best souvlaki I've ever had. Another restaurant we've been eating at gets a lot of their food, so it's neat to be able to see where they get it. I also liked that we were pretty much the only tourists there, so it felt very authentic, which I liked. I've had the cheese, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, so on you. <laughs> we made it over to Ma'am which is known as having some of the best cheese pie in all of Athens. This video is turning out to be a bit of a food tour. I didn't really intend it that way, but I guess all we've done today is eat. It's good, it's warm, it's the perfect level of crunchiness and softness. It is definitely one of the best. I also wanted to let you know about the area we're in. So the area we're in for the food market was completely different. We walked a few minutes and now we're in some kind of, it looks like a working area, kind of industrial with buildings, kind of more of a New York vibe. And it's just so interesting the differences between places within Athens, even if they're so close together. And I think this is more of a grab it as you go type of breakfast, which is perfect for busy working people. As I was mentioning earlier, there are so many different neighborhoods within Athens that make you feel like you're in a whole different city. So we were just in the financial type district where people are wearing suits and they're kind of in a hurry. And then yesterday we visited the Antifiaca, that neighborhood we visited yesterday. And then today we're going to visit a few more neighborhoods so we could show you the different vibes and the different atmospheres that are found within Athens. 
I don't know how to pronounce this neighborhood. I think it's the Sorry neighborhood or something. And it's known as being kind of funky and kind of fun. This is the same neighborhood that has that street on it that we visited yesterday. We came to Moran Cafe because we saw it in a Mark Wayne's video. They give out meat and cheese platters and there's a lot of different types. There's pastrami, there's jerky, there's spicy pastrami, and then a few cheeses too. I don't remember what this cheese is, but this cheese over here has a few different types of peppers inside of it. Mm. They're really known for their camel meat which is this one right here. I've never had camel meat before. This is the first. Oh, is this what I use? It's good, there's a bit of a spice to it. Let's try the jerky. Very, very good. I'm excited. There's also the Athens flea market, which is a good place to find cheap souvenirs. Next is the Plaka neighborhood, which might just be the most well-known neighborhood in Athens. It's also the oldest neighborhood, so it has a lot of history here. Last, we have the Ministraki area, which seems to be more of a shopping district. I hope you enjoy getting to see the different neighborhoods within Athens. I really enjoy walking around all of them. I also hope you enjoyed our little mini food tour of the city. We're now going to go to bed because I have an interview this morning at 2.15 and then we have to head to the airport immediately after. So thank you for watching. If you did enjoy this Grease series, please consider joining the adventure by subscribing.